Hi, welcome to linear probing, which is one of uh, closed hashing technique or open addressing technique. Here, a uh, hash table is searched sequentially that starts from the original location of hash value. Original location of hash value. Hash value will be calculated by using the uh, method H1 of K plus i mod m so i is the value starting from 0 1 2 until m minus 1 right so if there is a collision then check the next available position based upon the probing so i is the probing index i is the probing index here so first slot will be checked now to insert the value if it is filled so it is filled now so then we will check the next available uh, so uh, uh, next available free slot by using the probe sequence one so here the value h1 of k plus the probe sequence one so next available slot linearly we are checking next if it is also not free it is also not free so what we will do we will do the next sequence one plus one is two so linearly we are increasing the probe sequence until m minus 1 so here it is a free so we, we can store the data in the free slot so the probe sequence is here h1 of k then h1 of k plus 1 h1 of k plus 2 etc so how many probe sequences we can apply so you look at that suppose we reached here m minus 1 then what to do we have to check because we have to check in the top un until here because we started the we started the uh, searching here only okay so from the 0 1 2 from the second index onwards we have started still we didn't check the 0th index and first index so what we will do we will wrap around that means we will go back again to the start of starting of the index uh, starting index of the table then again we will continue the uh, checking process for free slot so we will do the m number of uh, probe sequences in the linear probing first we will see how to insert the key into the uh, uh, hash table by using linear probing here i want to insert uh, five data so i am selecting the table size is five so we have start we have uh, table size is five memory locations i want to insert this uh, 10 30 16 40, 44 35 now uh, first i am calculating the uh, um, uh, calculating the index by applying the uh, method h1 of k plus probe sequence i mod uh, table size m so the probe sequence is here 0 to m minus 1 all right so now you look at that uh, we will take uh, h of probe sequence is 0 so first we are taking probe sequence is 0 so h of uh, k is the 10 so k is the 10 now we are applying 10 mod 5 is 0 so at the 0th index we are inserting the value 0 i mean 10 right then next next value is uh, 30 right so 30 comma probe sequence is starting from 0 so we are uh, applying the 0 to so 30 mod 5 0 but slot 0 is already filled already filled with value 10 then what to do we have to incrementing the probe sequence by one right so we are incrementing the uh, probe sequence by one so then we are applying that uh, 30 is the uh, 30 is the value here then uh, here we, we, we will apply the value 30 plus 1 mod m right so we will get the index value 1 stored the 30 at index number 1 stored then next value next value is 16 so 16 is checked 16 comma probe sequence again we have to start from the 0 so 0 uh, 16 mod 5 which is 1 but in the first index right until uh, un already 1 is store uh, 30 is stored 30 is stored at the first index so collision will be occurring then what to do we have to uh, use the next probe sequence okay zero is already uh, used so now next probe sequence is one so 16 plus one mod 5 we are getting the index to 
checking that index two which is free so now since it is free we can store the value 16 at the index number two then i am inserting the 44 so 44 probe sequence is zero the 44 mod 5 is here uh, 4 so we are index uh, we are storing the value 44 at the index number 4 then uh, next value is uh, 35 so 35 we are going to store uh, with uh, in the hash table starting with uh, probe sequence 0 for calculating the hash value here 35 by uh, mod 5 is 0 so here in the 0th location already data filled then we have to uh, in increase the probe sequence by 1 probe sequence is 1 we will get the uh, value 1 but again collision occurs because already 30 is stored in this index number 1 so what we will do we have to increase the probe sequence by 1 so 2 is the probe sequence in the probe sequence 2 also you look at that we are getting the index number 2 so here also the data already filled so collision is occurring then we are increasing the probe sequence by 1 3 so 35 plus 3 mod 5 we are getting the 3 so in the index number 3 which is free then we can store the 35 at the index number 3. So this is the way to insert the data into the linear probing. Thanks for watching.